Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you guys can see me pretty good. I am excited about this video because this is my first like real natural hair video where I'm actually talking about products I'm using. And I wanted to start off with deep conditioners because it's the most important part of your natural hair journey if you are transitioning, just period, your hair period to be honest with you. You can be relaxed, perm, whatever. Deep conditioning is going to be your life, but especially for naturals because we love moisture, of course. So the more moisture you have in your hair, the better. So we're going to start off by, um, I'm going to start off by telling you the products that I use. And then we're going to get more into the tools and little like things that you can help enhance the experience. So first I'm going to start off with the deep conditioners that I absolutely love. And the first one I'm going to start off with is a cheap baby and it is the Aussie. 3 Minute Miracle Moist, um, actually I used the Aussie Moist, I've actually never used this one, but since I had this one it was very convenient to put in this video and the other one's like in my shower and it's like this big, I was like let me just show this one. So any Aussie Moist products I'm sure would be great, but the Aussie Moist is what I use to actually co-wash my hair and it's amazing. Like. This is one of my go-to products, like, if anything. The only bad thing about this product is it does have dimethicone in it, which is a silicone. And so I have to strip my hair once a month after using this, but I honestly think it's so worth it. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be that curly girl that never uses silicone on her hair, like, ever. I'm just not that girl, okay? Because this stuff is amazing, so... If you, and it's very cheap, I think it's like, this was like two bucks, this little one like this. So, I absolutely love this. The next deep conditioner is also a favorite of mine. I think I've mentioned it. And my friend always gets me because she's, she's like, I always smell my products. And I do. It's like such a big deal to me. If it don't smell good, I don't want it. But I do have a, deep, a few deep conditioners that aren't really, you know, good smelling. But this one, this Blueberry Bliss by Curls is like, the best thing ever and I'm trying not to use it so I purchased other deep conditions and they're good too but the smell of this one just has my life I'm, I'm marrying this product this product is amazing the next product I want to talk about actually the next three are all Shea Moisture deep conditioners and they just have so many and they're easy easily accessible you can go to a Target a Sally's anything and that's pretty much what any of these products except for the curls I didn't find the deep conditioner at Sally's. That's normally found at like a beauty uh, beauty master or something like, that, like a big beauty supply store. But Shea Moisture products, you can normally find those anywhere. So I did pick up this Manuka Honey. This is actually my the next favorite. Like I absolutely love this one. It makes my hair feel so good. But it, this one smells pretty good too. It just smells like a little honey smell. I mean. It's not bad at all. It doesn't smell like weird Play-Doh or anything like that. Absolutely love this one. It's very moisturizing. Super, super moisturizing. If you're looking for more of a treatment, this is this is the um, Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. So this one's really going to add a ton of moisture. I don't recommend using this one every single week because it is intense moisture. I only recommend it when you feel like your hair is going through a dry skin of a dry patch or it's during the winter time this is definitely gonna be a good one I wouldn't use this in the summer because I think it would weigh your hair down a lot because like I said it's so moisturizing but it is good if you're trying to repair your hair all right so the next one this one smells like it kind of smells like the Manuka honey but like a little sweeter I hate describing smells I suck at it because there's people out there that really want to know how these things smell. Okay, so this is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System. And this has marula oil and biotin. So this is going to be really good for hair growth because of the biotin. I'm not saying that it's going to grow your hair like tremendously, but it's going to help with it. So if you are in a hair growing journey, you feel like you have a lot of heat damage, this is probably going to be the best one for you because it is meant for a lot of that. It's good for color treated hair as well. So if you have color treated, I would definitely go with this one. I mean, hydrates, nourish, softens, anti-stress, deep condition, revive body, strengthens, and adds shine. So it does a ton of things in this little bitty bottle and it's 
cute packaging. So I would say if you have color treated hair, this is probably the best deep conditioner for you. Another deep conditioner I wanted to talk about is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen Growth and Restore Treatment Mask. This is another one if you are trying to pretty much help with the split ends and damaged hair. This is going to be a really good one. Now, I haven't technically used this one, but my friend has and she loves it. This one smells pretty sweet though. This one has the black Jamaican Black Castor Oil which I do love. That castor oil is great for hair growth. So I, I would use this one, you know, this one's definitely going to be mainly for hair growth and strengthening and making your hair super, super healthy. These two are pretty much the, the two that's going to be more for color treated, heat damaged hair that's going to revive your hair. I would definitely choose either the 10 in 1 or the Jamaican black castor oil, but this one's going to make your hair grow a lot more because it has that peppermint, keratin, shea butter, and that Jamaican black castor oils. I would say if you have very, very, very damaged hair, this probably is the best mask for you. If you have very dry hair, go with the Manuka Honey. And if you just have very dry colored hair, I would say go for this one. And the last deep conditioner I want to talk about is one I've used this one, of course, but this is one that isn't as thick as the other ones. All the other ones are pretty thick except for the Aussie Morris. They definitely have a lot of slip. Um, but the other ones are pretty thick. You can't really run your fingers through it. Now this one you can definitely do that. This is the Miel Organics Babasu Oil um, Mint Deep Conditioner. This definitely gives you like that tingle feeling on your scalp. So if you love that tea tree feeling on your scalp, this is going to be a fantastic deep conditioner for you. It smells like lemon and mint, if you really want to know, and I actually use quite a bit. You guys cannot see that, but this one actually would not last a lot. A, this one wouldn't last long because it's like not as much product. This one has 8 fluid ounces and this has 12 fluid ounces. And if you have like an itchy scalp, I really think this tea tree will just get in there and just help you out a lot and give you that cool refreshing feeling and I absolutely loved it. Like it's not something you want to use every week either. Just like, um, just like this one, you know, it's super moisturizing. This one isn't, it's, it's very moisturizing, but I don't know, it's very different. It just melts into your hair, like, really, really well. I actually deep condition with this for a this wash and go, so, um, yeah, I really like this one, actually. I won't be using a lot because it's not much. I'm going to use this one really when I want that deep tingling feeling that refreshing feeling like I'm cleaning my hair I guess almost um so I won't use this one when I shampoo no I won't use this one like when I'm doing my shampoo sessions um I will only use this one after co-washing so keep that in mind if you're going to use this deep conditioner it may be best after co-washing you really want to use a very moisturizing deep conditioner after you shampoo your hair. Along with all of my deep conditioners, I do like to use an oil. And I have came up with this, I do not use Do Grow. And you shouldn't either, like, let it go. Do Grow has, I think, mineral oils. And we want to stay away from that. So, yeah, I don't use Do Grow. Um, I just poured everything out, washed the bottle out. And I have coconut oil and a black castor oil and these are the two oils that I absolutely love now this coconut oil has been in my life for a minute now I bought it so long ago I don't think it's the best coconut oil um, I mean it gets the job done I like it but you know a lot of people talk about the Trader Joe's or whatever I didn't have time for that or Whole Foods I don't have time to go to those places all the time so I just picked the, this one up that looked like you can cook with it which I'm sure you can um, with all of them but yeah, this is the one that I've been working with. And also the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. It's a Tropic brand, okay, guys? Um, and it's a pretty big bottle compared to, like, the ones you see. And it's pretty thick. So I just pretty much mix those two in here. And I add that in with my deep conditioners. Love. It's automatically awesome. Like, I will add some deep conditioner to my hand. And then I will squirt a little bit of this on it, rub it together, apply it to my hair. And I absolutely love the moisture that it gives and like I told you guys black castor oil is really good for your scalp it's really good for growing your hair strengthening your hair and things like that so um, I highly recommend you guys try out black castor oil if you haven't 
I've actually been pretty much in love with the thing. So that is all of the products I want to talk about. I did want to tell you guys what you kind of do. So after you put all your deep conditioners, whichever deep conditioner you have fallen in love with, you put that on with your oils, all that's good and it's in your hair, this baby is what you want to deal with. This is just a shower cap. You can get these for like a dollar at the Dollar Tree and you'll get a ton. Um, you you want to trap the moisture into your hair. You really want to throw either this or you can use a plastic bag if you if you want a budget boo. I ain't judging. If you got a plastic, you got a Walmart bag, throw that thing on. But if you want to go a step further and you really want a treatment, I would say put this on and some kind of heat. Um, you can either use a hooded dryer or I do have my Layla Ali. I have talked about this thing, so I don't want to go over it completely. I'll link it below how it kind of works, but this hooks up to a cap that you just put on your head and he comes out just like a hooded dryer does. So it just saves a lot of time so you don't have to set up your hooded dryer or anything like that. Or if you are like super lazy, like a girl over here, this is gonna be your best friend. You're still gonna have on your plastic cap. This is a hot head. I know you guys have heard of these. If you haven't, go get you one. I will have the links in the description bar below. They have beads in it. Can you hear it? You pop this in the microwave for about three minutes and you put it on your head and it, it'll be warm and it'll honestly like trap all of the heat like inside it's like cloth material but yeah I really love this like I don't even sit on the dryers no more and I think these are only like 25 bucks so I highly recommend any natural girl to get a hot head like I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't. And put this on for 30 minutes. Walk around the house. Do whatever you got to do. You ain't got to sit. Even if you use this IV dry, like you literally have to be sitting by a plug. I cook while my deep conditioner is just on my head, you know. And it's just getting all that heat just trapped in there. So this is like one of the best purchases that you can have. Like this is amazing. It's amazing. So that's it. So if you guys want to see like a washing girl routine, thumbs up this video and I'll try to get that out for you guys. And I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!